Recently my videos have been about this animatronic mouth mechanism which I've designed. This video is going to focus on the sort of artistic elements of that which include the teeth and the tongue. So starting out with the tongue, which I would say is the easy part, the base of the tongue is actually 3D printed. So if you want to make this yourself you'll need to firstly print out the tongue base, front tongue linkage and rear tongue linkage and assemble the parts as shown. So these parts are going to be boiled briefly which quite often isn't an issue but it could cause some warping. Now PLA has a glass transition temperature of 60 degrees celsius so warping is pretty much guaranteed to occur even if it's only just a little bit when you come to boil it. If you use PLA plus like I've been using this Sunlu PLA plus um, the melting temperature is a little bit higher so the glass transition temperature should be a little bit higher too so you should have less warping. Um, ABS has a glass transition temperature of 105 degrees celsius so there shouldn't be any warping at all if you're able to use um, ABS for these parts but to be totally honest I don't think the warping is going to be strong enough to be an issue um, if you're really worried about it you can always use sort of like a little space there to hold the two sections apart from each other I didn't do anything at all to stop my part from warping and they all went together fine so for the polymer clay I find that Super Sculpey is really easy to sculpt compared with Fimo, um, but it does tend to be really brittle and there's not many different colour choices. Um, now obviously you can paint it, but uh, Super Sculpey has this really nice sort of translucency um, that I think looks really good on organic things like gums. It makes it look more natural I would say. So it's nice to not have to put too much paint on it. Fimo, while it's harder to sculpt, I do find that it's a hell of a lot stronger. Um, and you also get a lot of different colour options. So what I did was I used about 15 to 20 percent cherry red Fimo and mixed this in with the standard fleshy coloured Super Sculpey. And what this did was make a really easy to sculpt clay, but it was quite a bit stronger from the Fimo. I should just mention as well that this sculpt that you're looking at now is was like a first draft that I did using only Fimo. As for the sculpting of the tongue. Um, I just I just put a couple of like creases and really focused on the texture of the tongue as the most important element and I created the texture by pressing on it lightly with some fabric and lightly rolling the nailed parts of my sculpting tools against it to give it some little bumps. Now it is important with a tongue in this mechanism design not to make it too thick or long and ideally I would say print out the 3D printed tongue and use that as a guide to make sure you keep the dimensions within that shape. So now moving on to the teeth, as I mentioned before I was really interested in this method by Willa FX and that guy's like a professional dental technician and he makes proper dentures for his animatronic mouths. So at the time I couldn't find the right materials but, but after looking a bit harder it seems like it's actually not that hard to get dental supplies. So that's something I'm going to look into for another time. But I did come up with some interesting ways of making teeth that I ended up being quite happy with and it is a little bit cheaper. So the first method, the sort of simplest method would be to just print out the teeth and paint them. Um, this is what I did with my prototype when I was developing the program side of the project as just sort of a placeholder. But uh, you could also paint these up and it might look semi-realistic but obviously it won't, look, it won't look that good. But that is an option. The next method up from that would be to just sculpt it all manually in the same way that I did in my chart sculpture video which is one of the least viewed videos on my channel even though it's one of my coolest projects. So the teeth in that sculpture and in this sculpture um, are made out of a mixture of 70% Fimo translucent white and 30% Sahara which is another Fimo colour. They were quite difficult to sculpt, um, especially the little small front teeth, are, it really didn't go too well to be honest. And I find Fimo quite difficult to work with, uh, it doesn't seem to hold its shape very well as you sculpt in it, which is a shame. But it is really well suited to other like little beads and little sort of jewellery type things. Once you finish sculpting the teeth you can boil them for around 30 minutes and that'll harden them up. You can then sculpt the gums over the gum guides that I have that you can 3D print and be careful not to go too far outside the gum guides because otherwise the mechanism will have some trouble working around the big gums. And once again it might be a good idea to 3D print the teeth and use that as a guide 
um, just so that you don't go too far with it. You then want to stick the whole thing back in the water and boil it for another 30 minutes and that should harden it right up. So the best option I would say for how to make the teeth um, other than using the proper dental technician method would be to print the teeth, print this sort of uh, teeth frame um, without any gums on it and then sculpt the gums in super sculpey over the top of this form. So first of all I tried printing these in um, like a natural natural white ABS which has a really nice translucency to it and it's also a little bit off white so it does seem uh, like a little bit more natural toothy colour. And then I used acetone smoothing to get the teeth nice and shiny. I didn't do anything special for the acetone smoothing. It would have been better if I had some kind of like circulation. But all I did was put them in a jar above a little bit of nail polish remover. I then sculpted the gums with a mixture of 5% cherry red femur and 95% super sculpey. Because super sculpey actually the pigment in it is really weak and anything you add to it it seems to just like dominate the... Um, the colour of it so only 5% cherry red femur or you know thereabouts and that looked really realistic for gums I would say and it was also really easy to work with after using the femur I was really um, happy the way these gums came out. A really important point to note as well is that you only need to boil this super sculpey and tiny little bit of femur you only need to boil it for about three minutes for such a thin layer of super sculpey, any more than that and it will become really brittle. So just a tiny little dip in the boiling water. So then I found out that acetone smoothing does some weird stuff to ABS. Um, I'm not sure if it alters the surface to have like really tiny air bubbles in it or more probably I think some acetone is left behind and sort of like impregnates the surface of the ABS and then when you come to boil the teeth uh, the acetone tries to get out because it boils and then ends up with these big bubbles and completely ruins the teeth. I think maybe they look pretty cool as like demon teeth but um, they're not going to fit in the mechanism because they are too big and bubbly unfortunately. So what I did was went back and just used PLA just to be safe. I don't think the PLA equivalent looks as nice as the ABS one did but I would really like to try printing them in resin because I've seen some 3D printed resins that are a really nice sort of natural off-white and stuff printed on resin printers seems to come out and really quite smooth and shiny anyway so I would really like to try that at some point. So thanks for watching this video as always, a massive thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. Um, this video actually will be the last video on the mouth mechanism for now. And that means I'm going to be going full steam ahead on the bionic hand. So I'm really excited for the way that's going. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video.